Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we will talk about the trigger context variables. So what are these? All triggers define some implicit variables which allow the developers to access the runtime context. Now these variables are contained in a system.trigger class. So remember the name of the class. This is called the system.trigger class. Now what are these different trigger context variables? So let's start with the first one is called is executing. Now this particular context variables returns true if the current context for the Apex code is a trigger, but not a visual force page or a web service or an execute anonymous API call. So as long as the current context for the Apex code is a trigger, then it is this particular ex is executing context variable will return you true. Now, what is is insert? This particular context variables returns true if this trigger was fired due to an insert operation. Means if you are doing an insert on a particular record, this is this particular context variable will return true, and you can do the insert operation either from the Salesforce user interface or using the Apex or from the API. So one of these you can do it, but as long as it's an insert operation, this particular context variable will return true. Is update, as the name indicates, this particular context variable will return true if the trigger was fired due to an update operation, means updating an existing record. Let's say if you wanted to update the contact record or updating the existing account record or updating the existing custom record, no matter what it is, as long as if it's an update operation and this particular context variable will return true, no matter if the op update operation is through the Salesforce UI or the Apex code or through the API, is delete. Now, this context variable returns true if the trigger was fired due to a delete operation. As the name indicate is delete means deleting a particular record. This particular context variable will return true if the trigger was fired due to an up delete operation, no matter from which interface, from the Salesforce UI interface or through Apex code or through the API. No matter what, if it's a deleting of a record, if the trigger was fired due to a delete operation or deleting a particular record, then this is this particular context variable will return true. The next context variable that we have is before. Now, this particular context variable will return true only if the trigger was fired before any record was saved. So, this particular context variable will return true is after. As the name indicates, this context variable will return true if the trigger was fired after all the records were saved. Is undelete. This context variable returns true if the trigger was fired after a record is recovered from the recycle bin. So basically, it's like doing an undelete operation from either from the Salesforce user interface or through the Apex code or through the API. So whenever you do an undelete operation, undelete operation is similar to recovering the record from the recycle bin. This particular context variable will return true. Now, what is this new? New returns a list of the new versions of the S object record. So this particular context variable will return you the new versions. The S object list is only available in the case of insert operation, update, and undelete triggers. And the records can only be modified in before triggers. The next context variable we have is the new map. See, the first one, the new one, is a, it returns a list of the new versions of the S object records. Now, what is this new map? This is a map of IDs to the new versions of the S object records. So the new only contains the new versions or a list of the new versions of the S object records. But new map is a map of the IDs to the new versions of the S object records. Now, this map is also available only in before update, before update after insert, after update, and after undelete triggers. So these are the places where this new map is available. But if you compare, the new is only available in case of insert, update, and undelete records. And the triggers can only be modified in the before triggers. 
But whereas the new map, this is available in the case of before update, after the insert, after the update, and after the undelete triggers. Now, what is this old? Remember the difference between new and new map context variable. Similarly, remember the difference between old and old map. So old is going to return a list of the old versions of the S object records. It's a list. Whereas old map, it's a map of the IDs to the old versions of the S object records. Now, whereas the old is context variable, this S object list is only available in case of update and the delete triggers. Whereas the old map is only available in update and the delete triggers. So both of them are same in this case, but the one is a list of the old versions and the other one is a map. Now the next one we have is called as the size. Now what is the size context variable? This particular context variable returns the total number of records in a trigger invocation, including their old records and the new records. So this is what the size is. It will give you the total number of records which are involved in a trigger invocation. These records can either be old or either can be new. So this is a list of the trigger context variables. Remember, we have new, new map, old, old map, size. Then we have is before, is after, is undelete. Then we have is, is executing, is insert, is update, and is delete. So these are the different context variables that are available and also the usage of these variables. In the next tutorial, we are going to go ahead and do some examples on the triggers so it will make everything crystal clear for you. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.